A regional governor said on Saturday that 44 civilians had been killed by armed terrorist groups in two villages in northeastern Burkina Faso near the border with Niger. Rodolf Sorgo, deputy governor Sahel region, said the provisional toll of this vile barbaric attack that targeted villages Kuraku and Tandobi overnight on Thursday, 44 civilians were killed others injured. Sorgo said 31 people in Kuraku and 13 in Tandobi. He said an army attack neutralized the armed terrorist groups who carried out the killings. The governor also assured that actions continue to stabilize the region. The poor country of the Sahel is grappling with a seven-year campaign by Al-Qaeda and Islamic State-linked jihadists. A Kuraku resident told AFP that a large number of terrorists entered the village late Thursday. We heard gunshots all night. We saw several dozen on Friday morning, he said. Locals said the village was targeted in retaliation for the lynching of two jihadists who tried to steal cattle a few. It was one of the bloodiest attacks since Captain Ibrahim Traore took power in a coup last September. In February, 51 soldiers were killed in attack on Du, in the northernmost part of country. The latest twin attacks took place near the village of Saitenga, where 86 civilians were killed last June in one of the bloodiest attacks in a long-running insurgency. Burkina Faso's new chief staff pledged this week to step up a dynamic offensive against jihadists after a series of rebel attacks since the beginning of the year. The dynamic offensive that has been going on over the past weeks will be stepped up to force armed groups to lay down their arms, Colonel Celestin Simpor said after the handover ceremony following his appointment last week. After promotion according to an NGO estimate, more than 10,000 civilians, soldiers and police have been killed and at least 2 million displaced since jihadists launched their campaign from neighboring Mali in 2015. Official figures say jihadists actually control about 40% of the country. Disappointments within the military led to two military coups last year. Traore, who came to power in September, vowed to fight and reclaim the conquered lands. However, jihadists have carried out successive raids and ambushes since the beginning of year, inflicting heavy casualties on civilians and convoys accompanied by soldiers. Burkina's besieged army has recently purchased foreign-made drones regularly broadcasts video footage of attacks on so-called terrorists and troops, described as reconquering securing lost territory. Since Traoré came to power last year, the activities of all political parties and non-governmental organizations in the country have been suspended.